die. And so, back there 33 years ago, I turned to Brother Roland, and um, he encouraged me not to go the doctor route, but rather to do something as simple as change what I ate from the standard American meat-based sugar dessert cooked food diet to the diet God gave Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. And he said, and drink a lot of carrot juice. And I made the diet change overnight. Almost immediately started to get well. And within one year, without any medical attention, my baseball-sized tumor had disappeared. As had every, as had every other physical problem I had. I mean, hyperglycemia and hemorrhoids and severe allergies and severe sinuses. And, and, and I mean, even body odor and danger for gone in one year. And friends, that was 33 years ago. In February of this year, I celebrated my 75th birthday. Wow. And, I, and since I made the diet change, I haven't had a cold. I'll tell you what, God did not design us to be sick. And when we do get sick, it's not God's fault. We're going to talk about that as we proceed through this time this morning. But anyway, I had this wonderful experience. I thought I knew the Bible pretty good. I'd been to four years of Bible college. Um, I had pastored um, for almost 20 years. I had delivered um, some 5,000 biblically-based messages. In my devotions, I had read through the scriptures most years. And yet, after I had this wonderful experience, healing experience, by applying this Genesis 129 diet, I did something I had never done before. I started looking at the Bible not as a strictly spiritual book, as I always had. But I started looking to see if there were other verses in the Bible, like Genesis 129, that had something to do with the physical. And I was absolutely amazed. You know, it's, it, it, it's really interesting how many times we can read through the Bible and certain verses just don't, they don't click. But now as I started to read it, these verses started to pop off the page. For instance, in 3 John 2, the scripture says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. In other words, what's God saying here? He wants us to be as well in the physical body as we are in the spiritual soul, but we're not. And it's not God's fault because God said, Whatsoever a man or woman soweth, that shall they also reap. God said, my people are being destroyed for lack of knowledge. God said, the curse causeless shall not come. In other words, the curse of sickness will not come without a cause. Friends, every physical problem we experience has a cause. But we do not deal with causes in the physical realm today. We deal with symptoms. And when we have a physical symptom, we try to deal with the symptom without dealing with the cause. And how do we deal with the symptoms? We go to doctors. We tell them the symptom. And the doctor writes on a little prescription pad a prescription for a drug. And my friends, every drug is liver toxic. There's not a safe drug on planet Earth today. In fact, in the book of Revelation, chapter 18, the scripture says, By sorcery shall all nations be deceived. If you go back to the root word in the Greek, it's pharmakia, from which we get the pharmacy, uh, the root word for pharmacy. And, and, and in Revelation 18, it says that all nations are going to be deceived by these drugs, even the elect. And friends, we, we, in the society in which we live, and in our Christian community even, we're taught to say no to drugs like heroin and marijuana and cocaine and so forth. But if the doctor prescribes a drug, it's good. No, there's no good drug on planet Earth. Amen. And yet we have been programmed to receive these drugs because we've been programmed to deal with symptoms instead of dealing with causes. And friend, if we'll get rid of the cause, the symptom will go away and we won't need the drug. Amen. It's that beautiful. And so, when I made this diet change, and I started seeing these beautiful scriptures that God was showing me, 
And I had this wonderful healing experience. One day it dawned on me, hey, God didn't design me to be sick. And when you learn something good, what do you want to do with it? You want to share it, amen? amen. So I said, I know what I'm going to do. I mean, many people in my church were sick, and I had pastor friends, and they were sick, and they had sick people in their congregations. And I said, I know what I'll do with this health message. I'll go to my preacher friends, and I'll tell them, and uh, they'll get excited, get on the diet, and they'll share it with their congregations, and they'll get on the diet, and they'll get well, and this message will be off and running in the Christian community. Wrong. Amen. 